Hey there friends, what's going on? It's Kodiak here. Welcome back to Legacy Gaming and another video about Assassin's Creed Valhalla, The Siege of Paris. You guys know that the Paladin set is already in the game. This is something that you can obtain right now. And if you haven't checked out our short video on that set, I definitely recommend you check it out. But there is actually a second set of gear introduced into the DLC called the Reapers set. And if you're somebody that likes to hide in the shadows, likes to play the game like a true assassin, this set is for you. Now the kicker is, this set of gear is hidden behind the new Rebel missions introduced in this DLC, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am not a fan of this system. It's kind of a amalgamation of everything that we've come to experience with these kind of side features, from the base game to Wrath of the Druids with the trading post, and now we have this Rebel system. The Rebel system is pretty straightforward. You accept one quest at a time, you go do the quest, you get some help from some rebels that are fighting against the nobles of Francia, and every time you complete a quest, you get a little bit more infamy. Once you reach the max level of infamy, you unlock all of the items at the Rebel Training Shop, and you can pick up the Reaper set. The thing is, this is a very uninspired system. It's not enjoyable to go around Francia and kill a group of enemies or assassinate a target. It's a lot of copy paste and ultimately, it's just not that fun. So I wanted to share just a quick tip to make this content just a little bit more bearable. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't like cheats or exploits, that's fine, I totally get it. This isn't necessarily a cheat, but it is definitely a way to quickly get yourself through this entire rebel system so that you can pick up the Reaper set of gear. And like I said in the Paladins video, you wanna do this stuff sooner rather than later so that you can get a set of gear that you enjoy for the main story, which is really enjoyable in the Siege of Paris. I really liked it. But the reality is there's just a ton of grinding that you need to do to get the Reaper set and it's just not that fun. So here's the trick. Using the new scaling difficulty system that Ubisoft introduced right before the Siege of Paris came out, you can basically turn that off and just blow through all of these missions very quickly. Again, this may not be for everybody, but it's something that I definitely did because I just didn't want to struggle or have any sort of resistance when I was doing the same mission over and over and over again. I didn't find any of this fun, I didn't find any of it rewarding, so I was going to take a quick shortcut so that I could get the gear that I want and get back to the real content, which is the main story, which again, is pretty good. So by turning off the level scaling, you're basically going to roll through all of the content. You're gonna be able to use all of your special abilities and pretty much wipe things out if you're pretty far in the game, which I assume most players are. If you're anywhere like me, you're closing in on 500 power level, which means you're just gonna roll over everything. And that means you can get through these missions very quickly, get up to infamy level four and claim your prizes. Now you can explore the systems a little bit. You can get more tokens by adding more of the rebel soldiers to your group. That's really important because the more soldiers that you have that you keep alive, the more tokens that you get, and that's going to allow you to buy all the gear once you reach infamy level four. There are also a number of runes that you can pick up, so don't ignore the rebel system. Use the upgrade tokens to get more soldiers into your group, which will ultimately net you more tokens when you complete missions, and you're gonna have a healthy chunk of that currency that you can use to buy the Reaper set, to buy the runes once you reach the maximum infamy level four. Again, guys, this is not necessarily a hack or a cheat. It's just a quicker way to get through this system because if you're anything like me, you just didn't enjoy it. In terms of the Reaper set itself, it's an okay set of gear. I wouldn't rank it very high if you've checked out any of our ranking videos here on the channel. It's not something that I would rank particularly high. The two piece allows you to restore some health after a successful assassination, giving you plus 15% health. And the five piece bonus slows down time for just a little bit longer, two seconds when you're spotted by an enemy. I don't see either of these bonuses playing a big part in most players' gameplay. Getting some health back on an assassination is fine if you're getting attacked a lot, and that extra slowdown is okay, but ultimately I'm looking for something that's going to enhance my gameplay, give me either more options or more deadliness as a player, and I just don't think the Reaper set really fits the bill. Of course, you have to make your own determination if this is something that you want. It does look pretty cool, and maybe you just want it for the transmog. I don't blame you for that, but ultimately the Reaper set is just not that great, so don't go into this thinking that you're gonna get some lights out set. Anyways, if you have any questions about how to get the Reaper set, please let us know in the comments section. And of course, if you like guides that get straight to the point, we are here not to stretch five minutes of content into 15 minutes, but to give you guys the information you need so you can get back into the action 
we would love your support. Hit that thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel. We also invite you to join us on Discord. We've got a great community of around 7,000 members spread across dozens of great games, so check out the link in the description to join today. Finally, if you like everything we're doing here at Legacy Gaming and you want to help us out even more, you can now become a member. For just a couple bucks, you're helping evolve the channel and take our community to that next level. Check out the join button below to learn more. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.